Today I'm going to review the NRSV Cultural Background Study Bible. This is in the New Revised Standard Version, which I actually, my church used that, my childhood church growing up used this version, but this is actually the first uh, physical copy of it that I've had in a while. I do still have my very first like real Bible I got as a child from my church. It's in the NRSV but I haven't had like a study Bible or anything fancy in this translation. So this is my first. So you can see here just some of the features. It has um, Zondervan's comfort print for the NRSV. Uh, there's targeted book introductions, verse by verse study notes. There's um, key Old Testament Hebrew and New Testament terms explained and expanded upon with two reference features. There's over 300 in-depth articles on key contextual topics. There's 375 full-color photos, illustrations, and images from around the world. Dozens of charts, maps, and diagrams in vivid color. And there's also cross-references, glossary, concordance, indexes, and other helps. And it's a nice font size of 10.4. Okay, so it comes in a clamshell box here. I have a leather soft cover. You can see this is really nice pattern here of like kind of like the leaves, whatever you want to call that, but very pretty. Excuse me one handing this. Get the box out of the way. Okay, so this is the spine here. We have NRSV Cultural Background Study Bible and New Revised Standard Version. It has the perimeter stitching, it's a paste down liner, it does have a sewn binding, this is the presentation page. Okay, we start out with a quick start guide, just kind of telling you how to use the Bible. We have a table of contents. And then there's a, a contents of all the different charts that are in the Bible and where to find each of those. And the table of contents for all the different maps. We have an author introduction. A little more information about the authors of of the notes and extra features in this Bible. We have abbreviations, a preface to the NRSB, and then we have a Hebrew to English translation chart. So that's kind of neat. There's a couple pages there just showing uh, the word in Hebrew, the word the NRSB uses, um, some key verses that it's in and the meaning and we have a couple pages on that so That's interesting that's something you usually see in many Bibles Okay, then we have some ancient texts related to the Old Testament, so it just goes through a list of, of different texts that were found from the time of the Old Testament their origin description information about each of those then we have a timeline of Old Testament of the Old Testament. This Bible is not going to stay open for me today. In defense of the Bible, though, it is pretty new, so it'll be better. It'll lay more flat once I've broken it in a little more. And once we get in a little farther than the very first pages. So this is an article about Genesis, major background issues from the ancient Near East. You're going to have a lot of these types of articles throughout. A nice picture here, the Torah. And then here's where we get into the text. So it's a double column text. As I said before, 10.4 size font. You can see the study notes, 
we have articles throughout in a nice, easy to read font as well. And there's center column references. Please excuse my shaky hands today. For some reason today, I'm just not doing so well holding the iPad. Another article, this one about rest. You see there's lots of study notes as well. And I really like how unique this Bible is in it, that the notes are not just your typical study notes. They're more giving you the background of the culture from the time the Bible was written, just to help give you a little more of a deeper understanding. Here's another article, the serpent. Skip ahead a little bit here. So there's lots of these articles throughout, lots of nice pictures. really interesting to see some of the artifacts and background and just get some more information about the culture of when the Bible was written you know especially the Old Testament and the New as well it was written a really long time ago so of course things have changed in a lot of ways some ways fortunate both fortunately and unfortunately things are the same but there's been a lot of changes too and a lot of you know, information we may not know in our culture today that would have been second nature to people at that time. So it just helps give us a better understanding of what's in the Bible. So I really like that. You can see there's lots, as I said, there's lots of pictures, maps, just a nice, you, know, you can lose yourself in a Bible like this, which is a good thing. Lots of different features to help you immerse yourself in the word. A lot of notes, which is always great. Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead into the New Testament now. You can see it's a black letter text. So another chart here of just the different Jewish sects at the time. Pharisees, Sadducees, Essenes, Zealots. This gives you more information about what they believed. Here's an article on baptism. Just some other background on that. a really nice Bible. Here's um, an example of a book introduction for the book of Acts. You have the genre, you have a quick glance, just giving you some quick facts and the authorship. Structure. And then you get into the actual book with all these notes. And then at the end of the Bible here, so here's the end of Revelation. We have an index of articles. Just kind of giving you the title of the article, where it is, page number, and it's in order of the books of the Bible. And then we have the NRSV Authorized Concise Glossary and Concordance.
have an index to all the different maps. And then we have, there's a lot of maps throughout the Bible as well, but there's a couple at the end here in full color, and they are printed on Bible paper. These are like your typical maps that you would usually see in the back of the Bible. But like I said, there's many others throughout, not just these. And then we end with some notebook paper, lined paper at the end. And the font was um, created by 2K Denmark. It's a nice, easy to read font. I think I forgot to mention, but it does have a ribbon here and kind of like a burgundy color. 